And as Sam mentioned, the 60-day session of the Florida legislature is officially underway. Governor Rick Scott opened the session with his State of the State speech, calling for $500 million in tax cuts, more money for education, and lower state university tuition. NBC2 chief political reporter Dave Elias takes a look at what's in store and what's at stake in the next two months. Governor Rick Scott admitting education cuts he made four years ago didn't go over well. Many of these decisions were unpopular. With an improving economy, Scott now wants to spend more on education. He's proposing to spend more than $7,000 on each Florida student. Now that our economy is thriving, it's time to make, a, to make major investments in education. However, he made no mention of state-mandated testing during his 21-minute speech. Democrats say they want to see some of the tests eliminated. Let's fix testing. The cost of college is also on the governor's list of goals. We should expect education to become more affordable every year, not more expensive. Scott also touted the jobs his administration has created, jobs that Democrats argue don't pay a living wage. The middle class has been sinking. The governor's other priorities include cutting taxes on cell phones and cable TV, as well as spending more on the environment. This is the first volley of what will eventually be a back and forth negotiation. Political consultant Dennis Perlman points out it's a negotiation between Scott and the legislature, one that bodes well for the governor's agenda. It certainly helps when you have a Republican-dominated uh, legislature in order to get his agenda passed. An agenda that made no mention of the state's troubled prison system or the growing number of people without health insurance. In Lee County, Dave Elias, NBC2.